morning. <laughs> so it's gonna be gentle yoga. We'll do about a half an hour-ish, um, maybe a little bit less, we'll see. So we're gonna start lying down. Now you could put a pillow underneath your legs or a blanket, if you've got that handy, you can put a, make a little pillow out of a blanket. Um, we're gonna need a yoga strap today. If you've got one at your house, <laughs> grab that and put it next to you. Um, we'll use it in a little bit, but just make sure you can reach it. All right, if you like, you can start with a pillow under your upper back. That's what I'm gonna do. And I might make a decision about doing a butterfly shape with my legs. So I'm gonna give myself that option. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I like it in a second. <laughs> so kind of finding a reclining position that just gives you a moment to collect yourself. I like the elevated, um, <laughs> putting something under my back because it uh, keeps me more alert <laughs> so early in the morning when I might be inclined to go get a little sleepy again. That feels really nice. And it also sort of opens up the shoulders in a nice way. I spend my time sleeping curled up in the hall on my side. So this sort of shifts the shoulders around a little bit. It makes a little bit like my shoulder sort of drops just a little bit off to the side. It's not really super intense. It's a very mild stretch, but it feels nice to have that happen. I'm trying to decide whether I want the <laughs> butterfly shape with the legs are just straight. So I'm going to test out both options and make a final decision here. But I'm definitely liking the straighter legs better. So I'm going with that today. You can choose as you like. I'll just take a few moments to breathe. So we're going to expand, kind of fluff up the rib cage a little bit, fluff up the navel. be really forceful with it, but just allow the breath to travel deeper in the body. about three more breaths. Just try to let your upper back and your chest melt a little bit, to soften out onto the floor. Two more. change. I'm going to take the pillow out from underneath my back, set that off to the side and come back onto my back for a moment. So reaching the arms up toward the ceiling, I'm going to try to get my shoulder blade as protracted as I can. So it's way off to the side on both edges. And then all the territory in between the shoulder blades, I'm just going to rock on that to do it. I'm sort of curling my tailbone in and pressing my upper back into the floor. Oh. So giving myself a, like a Halloween cat back. Oh. <laughs> Although we might do that normally a different way. Okay, so we're gonna keep working with the shoulders, starting out by laying on the side. So you can use your um, bottom arm there, the, in this case my right arm, as a pillow. But if for whatever reason that bugs your neck or your shoulder, you can put a pillow or a yoga block underneath. You just need enough room for your arm <laughs> to make a circle. 
So you can try to make the circle really flat. You'll probably need a little more room for that, or you can have more of a funnel shaped circle. And we're reaching into the circle, right? So we're stretching through the arm. Whether it's a funnel or a flat circle is up to you. And it also just sometimes feels better to me to experiment starting out a little bit more um, with the arm sort of pointing more up and then allow it to sort of slowly find a more um, shoulder height, uh, broader circle shape. Okay, so we're gonna pause and go the opposite direction. <laughs> Again, kind of reaching in, and I'm slowly sort of tightening the circle up got more of a funnel. All right, so we're going to let this turn us into a twist. Now, I'm going to roll my upper back to the ground, <laughs> work around my <laughs> holiday decorations here, get myself into a twist. I've added a pillow underneath my legs. You could also try that out if that feels a little better. I want just the right amount of kind of twisty stretchiness here in my lower back. Not too much, not too little. And then there's a little bit of stretch through the chest muscle as I kind of reach out through my arm. back to the center and oh, I'm just gonna give that arm a little shake out do some little windshield wipers for a second and just see if there's a difference in the way my two arms feel if I compare them to each other kind of notice is there any difference in the way the legs or the hips feel having done a twist if anything, if anything feels kind of sore or tender, I'm going to maybe change it up a little bit. Everything feels good today. So I'm going to basically do the exact same thing <laughs> just on the other side. So starting with rolling onto my right side, I'm going to try to give myself enough room here. So I'm going to start with a kind of funnel shape with my arm reaching into the circle. I'm going to try to stretch my arm longer. As I go, if it starts to feel okay, I'm gonna flatten out that circle a little bit. Again, kind of reaching into the arm, trying to make it longer. get to my hip and then switch the direction. And I'm going to slowly tighten up the circle a little bit here. turn this into my twist. Oh, so I'm just going to take that shoulder over to the floor. Add a pillow to the legs or maybe a yoga block would work better. Or a blanket in your, you know, whatever you've got handy. <laughs> kind of testing out slightly different arm positions to see if there's one I like better. And again, I want just the right amount of stretch in this kind of lower back, outer hip area. So you can adjust the <coughs> support under your legs to make that happen.
gonna take one more breath and then come on back to the center with the legs. Take the arm and give it a little shake out. All right, when you're ready, <laughs> we'll return to our kind of laid out position here and see if the arms feel even or the legs. There was an asymmetry last time. Has it come back to symmetry? Oh. Is there anything else you may want to do there? All right, so we're going to use the strap to hold on to our foot. So we're going to get this guy and you're going to pick a leg that you want to do. So we're going to focus on the top of the thigh. Um, so even <laughs> we're going to flip upside down in just a second, but first, go ahead and choose a leg. So I'm going to do my right foot first, my right leg. I'm just going to put the strap on my foot and then I'm going to roll onto my belly. Okay. Now I'm bringing this foot in towards my butt. You could potentially reach back there with your hand and get hold of that strap or get hold of your foot. And that's fine. You can do it that way. <laughs> I like using the strap because it gives me a little bit, um, a little more freedom to not have to bend that knee so much. Like I have only one length of arm. <laughs> so I can, whatever length my arm is, that's how much intensity I'm gonna have. But with a strap, I could back it off a little bit, pull it in a little bit, I have a little bit more options. So that's the, that's the story there. We're gonna take the other leg and kind of bring it out into a little, froggy kind of shape. So we've got top of the thigh on the right side and then a little bit of the groins and inner thigh here on the left side. Now you can stay propped up on your elbows or you can grab that pillow that you had and let yourself sort of lower down onto that little pillow. I'm going to take a few moments with this <laughs> quadricep stretch here and groin on the opposite side. I'll sort of relax into both of my legs. I'm using kind of a slightly lengthened exhale to help with that. Let the exhale come out maybe a little slower, a little longer than the inhale. more breath. Now I'm going to let go of this foot with the strap on it first. Then I'm going to kind of roll to my side a little bit and undo the opposite leg. Okay. Now taking a moment with a little crocodile shape, just release the legs. checking out how it feels afterwards. So we're going to bring the hands to just around the, uh, the top of the shoulder level with the chest. Plant the palms, lift in the cobra. And as you exhale, come on back down. Let the shoulders kind of roll around a little bit in each direction. Lift in the cobra. Come on back down. Roll the shoulders. Lifting into cobra, oh, coming on back down. One more time, roll your shoulders. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do the opposite side. So to start with, 
and put my left foot in the strap. And then I'm going to come back and kind of fiddle with that a little bit, make sure I like the way that's going to work. And then we'll take the right leg out like a little frog flipper. slowly decide you want a little bit less or a little more sensation on this side. Oh, relax into the muscles. <laughs> Maybe a little longer on that exhale. Every breath, I'm just trying to soften a little bit more. more breaths. Right, I'm going to let go of the left foot first. And I'm going to take the right one back after I kind of roll to my side. So one more time, just come into the little crocodile pose. And letting everything sort of settle out. And we'll move the oh, spine through this, which is probably now going to be slightly familiar shape. <laughs> and then like a little Halloween cat, which might feel oh, a little bit different. <laughs> one leg forward and we'll have a lunge shape. You can pad up the back knee as much as you'd like. If yoga blocks would help, you could bring those in. You might want to stay a little lower or you can bring yourself up so that oh, your torso is all the way elevated. So just kind of take the cue from the front of your hip, your knee, see what it tells you is the right answer. Kind of leaning into the stretch and then backing off a little bit and just trying to find a sweet spot where I just feel it. breath here. And then I'm going to fold over my leg and slide my hips back and 
see how straight I can make my front leg. And as I fold over it, I'm just going to hang out with it where I feel a stretch. I'm pulling my toes back a little bit. So I've got a little stretch in my calf muscles and then just by the nature of the pose, <laughs> I can feel that in my hamstrings for sure. slightly so I get both hands to the floor take that leg back give that a little shake and then we'll come back to some cat shakes forward for the lunge. Again, just kind of finding an appropriate amount. I don't know where that is yet, so I'm just going in a little bit and coming out a little bit. Just trying to find that spot where it's just like, oh, I feel that right, right there. Sometimes that'll soften and I'll go a little further forward, and sometimes it doesn't soften and I back up a little bit. relaxed keep my breath deep and we'll stay for about three more breaths all right I'm gonna fold forward and then I'm gonna see if I can straighten out my leg in the front here do a different shape. You could point the toes more rather than flex the foot back. You can slide the foot a little further out forward or bring it back a little bit as it seems appropriate. <laughs> breath here. I'm going to bend my knee a little bit, put both hands on the side, and take that left leg back. Oh, give it a little shimmy. And then one more time, oh, mostly because I love them, <laughs> I'll do some little cat backs. Oh. And then when you're ready, bring yourself to a seated position. We're just going to take a simple cross-legged position and just tighten it up a little bit. Just bring the thighs in as close as they're willing to go. If it helps to sit up on the edge of a blanket, do that. And then we're going to twist around. So I'm, I've got my left leg up front here, so I'm going to the left. But you can do it either way. This just feels the most, the easiest for me to stay grounded through both hips. my head the opposite direction so kind of looking over my right shoulder Let's see what that does for me and two more breaths here forward over the legs and I'm going to try to keep them as best I can kind of in this 
a relatively close pattern. If you want, you can even stack your knees on top of each other or your shins up on top of each other. breath at the top of that come all the way up lean back undo the legs now I'm gonna try to sit with the other leg up front this doesn't always feel the same so I might wind up putting a little blanket between underneath the knees I definitely have one that fits a little more habitually so sitting up tall and twisting around the opposite direction I'm just kind of finding the right amount of twist and then I'm turning my head around to the left. I just realized I was leaning forward a little bit so I'm adjusting for that. We'll get to the leaning forward in a moment. <laughs> for now, trying to keep this kind of twisting in both directions shape for a couple more breaths. Unwind the twist and fold forward. Again, you can certainly layer the legs a little bit more on top of each other for a little more intensity. Maybe this is enough intensity for today. Just feeling this kind of stretch maybe through the lower back or the outer hip. more breaths. And this is the one we're going to hold in. So when you take that second breath, kind of fill up with air, come all the way out. And we'll straighten out the legs. Oh. Give them a little, a little back and forth. Take a butterfly shape. Again, you might decide you want to have a little bit of support under your knees or under your shins. Just gonna sit up tall. So bringing the feet in as close as they're willing to come in this morning. <laughs> sit up nice and tall. You can let your arms rest on your legs if that feels okay. And if it doesn't, you can certainly change that up. If you have really long arms, you could hold on to your feet. <laughs> or maybe just average human-sized arms. <laughs> Mine are a little on the shorter side. Okay. Take two more breaths. Nice big inhale and a big deep sigh. That's our practice for today. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.